Hey guys, I'm back and before we get started, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to those of you who have subscribed since my last video. We're at about 55 subscribers at this point. So thank you so much for subscribing to me. Thank you so much to those of you who have posted uh, questions and comments uh, since my last video. All of you have been very respectful and I appreciate that so much. Thank you so much. It's, so, it's such a delight to, to hang out with you guys and talk to you guys. It's been amazing. Thank you so much for that. One other thing that I quickly wanted to mention before we get this video started is my description box. If you guys haven't checked it out before or, or if you haven't checked it out in a while, please check it out now. Aside from a description of what the video is about and a list of the gear that I'm using, I've now included a section called chapters, which basically provides a bunch of links to uh, major parts of the video so that you can just float around the video and take a look at the stuff that you need to take a look at. Because I know my videos can be very long and they can be very tiring and boring. So if you just wanna jump around and check out what you're interested in, you can use my whole chapter section. So that's definitely worth taking a look at. So now on to the point of this video. And uh, this time I have this for you guys. And this is the Digital Reference DRV100 Dynamic Vocal Mic. It's uh, the one that's right here, right here, right next to the SM58. And uh, basically, I just want to do a demonstration of this mic because uh, in America, at least, uh, the big sales are starting to come up. We're going to have the 4th of July sale. Um, and then there'll be the Halloween sales and the Black Friday and then the Christmas sales. And uh, this mic goes on sale almost all the time. I've, I'm always seeing this mic on sale. And I think that Musician's Friend actually has it on sale like all the time. And usually the sales are really good deals. Like buy one, get two free. Which is how I ended up with this microphone. I saw that it was 49 bucks, and if you bought one, they gave you two other ones. And I thought it was a great way to quickly mic a band because it allows you to quickly mic the lead vocalist and two backing vocalists. So it's definitely a great deal to look into. And because I'm always looking for ways to save you guys a little bit of money and uh, get you uh, as much gear as possible for the least amount, I just thought it was a great idea to do a video now because I know my videos take a while to get a lot of views. So hopefully by uploading this video this early in the year, the majority of you guys will be able to benefit from the information about this mic. So a couple things that you should know about this mic. As I mentioned before, it's a dynamic vocal mic. It has a cardioid pickup pattern and it has an impedance rating of 600 ohms, which basically makes it a medium impedance microphone. And for those of you who don't know about medium impedance, don't worry. I didn't know anything about it either. So I did a, a little bit of research. So according to my research, the way that it breaks down is as follows. 0 to 600 ohms makes a mic low impedance. 600 to 10,000 ohms makes it medium impedance. And anything above 10,000 ohms is apparently high impedance. This mic is rated at 600 ohms and so it makes it a medium impedance mic. As far as I can tell, there are no major issues with medium impedance microphones, aside from that at long cable lengths, and I'm meeting really long cable lengths, there might be some issues with frequency response. Uh, it seems that some frequencies might cut out completely or partially, but again, they have to be really long cables. So if you're using the usual 25 foot cable, it should be okay with this microphone. And the last key point I wanna to touch on is the price point. You can usually buy this mic for about $49, but you can usually get it on sale for three for the price of one. This way you can mic your primary vocalist, your lead vocalist, and two backing vocalists. That'll give you a richer vocal experience in your band. And it's always great to have a multiple vocalist. It just makes the music come alive. So this is definitely a mic to be looking at, especially if you're a musician on a budget or, or if you're part of a band that's on a really tight budget, this is a excellent solution to getting everyone mic'd up for practice or even for, for shows if you're, if you're that tight on money. And that's basically why I wanted to do a video on this mic. So before I get started, I really briefly want to touch on the setup I have here. Uh, you're currently hearing me through two mics. I have, as always, my AKG Perception 100 directly above me. And as a room mic, I have my AKG Perception 120. So those are the two mics you're currently uh, listening to me through. And uh, in a moment, I'll be switching to just the two mics you see in front of you, which are, of course, the DRV100 and the SM58. And the SM58 is here just for comparison. Whenever I do mics from now on, I'm going to compare them to the SM58. 
because it is an industry standard. It's uh, the legendary indestructible mic and all that good stuff. And it's used everywhere. I haven't played a single show where I haven't seen this mic or used this mic. And so if there's any mic that I'm gonna compare other mics to, it's gonna be this one. So the SM58 is basically gonna be our yardstick or our meter stick. I'm trying to use it as a palate cleanser for your ears just so that you have something to relate the mic that I'm currently demonstrating. And of course today it's the digital reference DRV100. And so that's basically all I wanted to touch on. What I'm gonna go ahead and do first is I'm going to mute my uh, perception microphones, the 100 and the 120. And then I will switch between the SM58 and the DRV100. And to begin, we're gonna just worry about handling noise. So I'm basically gonna tap on the mics, maybe take them off the stand and uh, do all that good stuff so that you can hear just how good they are at handling, well, handling noise. All right, guys, so you're currently hearing me through the SM58. And uh, like I said before, I'm just gonna go ahead and start uh, tapping on the mic and uh, yeah, just so you can get a sense of uh, how well it handles handling noise. And so here we go. And so that's the SM58, and now I'll go ahead and switch to the DRV100. All right, so now I'm over with the DRV100, and just like I did with the SM58, I'll just go ahead and tap on the body of the mic uh, at different rates and pressures just to show you how it handles handling noise. And uh, that's the DRV100. Uh, and now I'll go ahead and uh, take the... Um, uh, SM58 off the stand and uh, we'll go ahead and see how that sounds. So now I have uh, the SM58 uh, off the stand and um, I'm just kind of wiggling uh, my hand around the body of the mic just to give you an idea of uh, how it handles uh, handling noise uh, when it's off the stand. Um, yeah, to my ears uh, it does a way better job of handling handling noise uh, than the DRV100 does but of course you're paying fifty dollars more for this mic so it better handle uh handling noise pretty well um i've noticed that the with the drv 100 you can sort of uh, escape the handling noise issue if you want to go ahead and uh, uh actually um, use it as a handheld instead of keeping it on the stand by uh, grabbing it by the grill sort of like this and uh, I've seen plenty of musicians uh, do this. Uh, most notably, I think uh, uh, Anthony Green, who has uh, this tendency to kind of grab his mics by the grill in a very uh, peculiar fashion. I kind of grab them like this. Um, I'm not entirely sure uh, as to his technique. Um, I, I don't know that it affects the sound too much. Um, uh, it does limit... <laughs> uh certain things i guess when you have to hold it in a particular way to avoid handling noise but uh otherwise i mean it's a it's a good workaround for uh for uh, the handling noise so I'll, I'll switch back to the uh drv 100 just to show you that so now i have uh, the drv 100 in my hands and again i'm just kind of wiggling my hands and uh, moving around as you can hear there's a, definitely some handling noise that you can uh, observe it's uh, pretty noticeable um it's uh, not as horrible as other mics that uh, I've, I've noticed have a really hard time with handling noise, but it is quite noticeable. Again, you can kind of hold it from the grill, sort of like this. Uh, this kind of eliminates uh, the handling noise. Uh, it looks kind of cool. You kind of look like Anthony Green. Um, <laughs> uh, if you're a screamer, uh, this might be a, a great uh, position to have a uh, the, the mic in especially because it kind of forces you um, to have kind of a marker where your your um, your uh, distance should be from the mic which is right there with your knuckle uh, so you get that good proximity effect um, and uh, before I move on thanks to all of you who have mentioned the proximity effect uh, I, I completely disregarded in my last video uh, where I was doing uh, the demonstration of the 58 the 48 and of course the PG 58 um, and so thank, thank you to all of you who um, mentioned the proximity effect. You guys were very respectful, very critical, uh, very, uh, very uh, insightful. And so I'm, I'm, so, uh, I'm so stoked about you guys being so respectful and, uh, and so intellectual about the whole thing. V uh, very insightful. You guys uh, gave some really brilliant uh, 
insight and uh, constructive criticism in the comments. And uh, yeah, just thank you for bringing that up. Yeah, I definitely overlooked that and I, I should be uh, paying attention to the proximity effect because it is where we get uh, the best response. As you can hear, uh, there's there's a better bass response when I'm closer to the mic. And so again, thank you guys for that. I know I've already thanked you guys, but it, it is a big deal. So uh, thank you for engaging and thank you for, for pointing those things out. So uh, now we'll go, we'll go ahead and switch back to the AKGs and uh, we'll go on to our next test. All right, guys. So at the moment, the 58 and the DRV100 are currently muted and you are hearing me through my Perception 100 and my Perception 120. And I just wanted to come back to these two mics so that I can give you yet another point of reference for our, our next and probably our most important demonstration. And that's going to be how they, they handle not only speech, but of course singing and to some extent screaming. So the way that I'm going to demonstrate the mic's ability in those categories is to simply speak something into the mics and then uh, sing something into the mics and of course then scream slash growl something into the mic. And of course, I've, as I've always said, I'm not the end all to be all of anything. And these videos are not meant to be a demonstration of how well or how poor I can do something, but rather how the, the equipment responds, how it uh, performs. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and run you through uh, what my demonstration is going to be like. Uh, first, I'm going to go ahead and speak some lyrics that I've just come up with at random. Uh, and they go something like this. I've got nothing left i won't be giving up until the morning comes until the morning comes and then i'll go ahead and uh scream growl uh that uh that last part just kind of in repetition something that you might expect in, in, in um in a song with uh with some growls or screams basically that's that's how i'm gonna say it and then it'll sound something like this when i sing it I've got nothing left. I won't be giving up until the morning comes. Until the morning comes. Until the morning comes. So that's basically what it's going to sound like, more or less. Uh, and basically what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do that whole thing uh, with the SM58. And then I'll switch to the DRV100 and do the same thing. And that should more or less give you a point of reference for, for this mic. Uh, on how well it performs with a little bit of clean, a little bit of speech, and a little bit of screaming. So now you're hearing me through the SM58, and I'm about an inch or so away from the, the capsule, or the grill rather, uh, just so that we can get the full proximity effect, and uh, we can get the full response. And so uh, with uh, that being said, let's go ahead and uh, do the demonstration. And the lyrics, if I am not mistaken, were, I've got nothing left. I won't be giving up until the morning comes, until the morning comes. And uh, when you go ahead and sing those into the 58, it should sound a little bit like this. I've got nothing left. I won't be giving up until the morning comes, until the morning comes, until the morning comes. Uh, so once again, not the best vocalist out there, but hopefully that gives you an idea of what it sounds like through the 58. And uh, now I'll go ahead and switch over to the DRV100 and uh, basically give you the same thing. So now I'm over on the, the DRV100. And uh, I just want to make a quick note before we, we move on here. Um, one of the things that I didn't get to touch on with, with impedances is that it seems that the higher the impedance is, the, the easier it is to drive the the the, uh, the microphone uh, that is you have to use less gain it seems to uh, get it to a usable volume so if the um, uh, DRV 100 seems a little bit brighter uh, and livelier than the than the SM58 does it's probably because of that uh, it does have uh, a way higher impedance uh, it's a it's a double um, the the 58 has a, an impe uh, impedance rating of about 300. So if the DRV100 seems a little bit brighter, louder, um, clearer than the SM58 does, it'll probably be because of uh, that higher impedance. Again, it is rated at 600 ohms and the 58 is rated at 300 ohms. So with that being said, uh, I just want to quickly go ahead and give you a, a demonstration of what it sounds like 
when we do the exact same uh, test with this microphone. And so the lyrics, if, uh, if I'm not mistaken, go something like this. I've got nothing left. I won't be giving up until the morning comes, until the morning comes. And uh, when we sing it, it should sound something like this. I've got nothing left. I won't be giving up until the morning comes. Until the morning comes. Until the morning comes. So uh, there you have it. Again, not the greatest uh, vocalist ever, but uh, uh, that should probably give you an idea of more or less what the mic uh, sounds like and can do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the AKGs one more time. All right, so now you're hearing me through the AKG microphones, and I just wanted to go on about a couple of oddities with the DRV100. Aside from its uh, impedance rating of 600, which makes it a medium impedance microphone, there's also this whole thing with, uh, if you look at, at, at the box, the frequency response is a little weird. Usually, uh, I'm used to having a frequency response chart where the, D, uh, the DB doesn't go past negative 20 or above negative 20. Here we're at negative 80 and the highest it goes is about negative 70 and I'm not entirely sure why that is. I've uh, tried to figure it out a million times so if anyone knows what's going on there please leave a comment below. Let us all know what's going on there. The other thing for those of you who aren't aware I just wanted to talk about the uh, polar pattern which of course is a cardioid polar pattern. And what it means by a cardioid polar pattern is basically uh, a pattern that's in a heart shape. And it's really more like a flat heart um, or a flat top heart. It's kind of like this. So there's our polar pattern. So if the mic were directly below my thumbs over here and the grill were facing upward, uh, that's where the mic would be. And this would be where the, where the sides are. So moving this way or that way. The sides and this is the top over here where my fingers are wiggling and that would be usually the top that's where your uh, your voice should be coming from uh, of course uh, you can kind of uh, talk into it from the sides and you'll get some uh, some response there so that's basically what's going on there with its uh, pickup pattern it just kind of looks like that and it means that uh, you can basically uh, get some response from the sides and from the top uh, you get the best response, of course, from directly in front, but uh, you can definitely hear some stuff from the sides. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate that real quick right now. So now I'm back uh, with the mic. And uh, just to demonstrate what I was talking about before, if I move this way, you can still kind of hear me. And if I move back over here, you can still kind of hear me on the sides, but it's not as much. The best position is right here, right in front, about an inch away from the grill. Uh, a couple things that I wanted to talk about uh, before we end this video uh, are the fact that if you hadn't noticed, uh, I'll switch back and forth one more time. Uh, you definitely get a lot more uh, hiss on this mic. Um, it's not as good a, a, at blocking out uh, breaths. You can you can definitely hear right there. Uh, it also um, it distorts uh, uh, really uh, really quickly. Um, you can't really full force. Uh, sing into it without it kind of uh, beginning to distort uh, which uh, can be an issue of course um, uh, if you're screaming into it that's that might even add to your sound um, there's always ways around uh, issues like this and th there's always a uh, uh, certain uh, uh, there's always certain flaws that will work it to your advantage so that might work to your advantage. Uh, I'll switch to the 58 real quick right now. So now I'm on the 58 and as you can hear, uh, you're not getting that, that hiss from my voice as much. Um, I, I do have a tendency to sort of uh, 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 release a lot of air uh, with my words. Uh, so uh, I, I always use a pop filter when I'm using uh, condenser microphones for that reason. I mean, as you should, but uh, I definitely need it. Otherwise, you'd be hearing a lot of um, breath noises. And so, as you can tell, uh, this uh, doesn't distort as easily as the DRV does. And uh, you don't get as much handling noise. You also don't get as much of that hissing noise. So I'll switch over to the DRV one more time. And so, again, I'm on the DRV, and uh, the, there you have it. This is what it sounds like. Um, it is a budget mic, so y you're going to uh, run into some issues. 
But uh, for $49, if you can get three of them, it's definitely worth getting this microphone. Uh, so again, I'll switch over to the AKGs and we'll go ahead and wrap up this video. So there you have it guys. Uh, as always, I am not the end all to be all of anything. And uh, if you have any questions and concerns, uh, leave them in the comments below. I try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. If you have any information about this mic that I didn't cover or that I covered in maybe not the best of ways, uh, please leave it in the comments below as well. Uh, as always, leave constructive criticism. Try to be respectful. Uh, I, I can't um, begin to thank you guys for how respectful you've been in the past couple weeks. You guys are so great. It's been awesome interacting with you guys and talking to you guys. Again, any questions, concerns, comments, criticisms, please leave them in the comments below. Everything helps. It helps other musicians. It helps me do this way better for you guys. Uh, again, leave comments just to chat. You guys are awesome. I, I love hanging out with you guys and, and talking to you guys. You guys are all so uh, insightful and awesome. So uh, that's basically my demonstration of the DRV100. Hopefully uh, you'll see this in time so that you can take advantage of one of the sales, especially if you're a musician on a budget. Thank you guys for being subscribed. Thank you to those of you who are repeat viewers who are not subscribed and thank you to those of you who have just watched your first Sombra Amarath video. Thank you so much for, uh, for being here with me. That's basically my demonstration of the Digital Reference DRV100. If you like the video, go ahead and thumb it up. If you have a question, comment, concern, you want to chat, put it down in the comments below. Of course, if you want to keep up with me and my videos and my channel, you are more than welcome to go ahead and subscribe or you can become a repeat viewer. That's cool too. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of the mic. I, I'm really interested to know what you guys thought of this budget mic. Uh, is it worth the, the money? Is it a good mic? What did you guys think? Do you, do you guys think you might be getting uh, this mic? Also, let me know uh, what are you using for vocals currently, whether it be dynamic uh, microphones or condensers, uh, ribbon or tube. Let me know what you're working with. Uh, that's basically it for me, guys. Thank you so much for uh, being so patient with me. Thank you for putting so much trust in me and my channel and my videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.